Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the value of this given rational expression that involves not only the exponents but also the radicals. And here is our problem it looks like it's 2 power square root of 27 times 8 power square root of 75 divided by 4 power square root of 48 and then the this whole thing power square root of 3 divided by 5. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and just want to make sure that we will simplify this problem piece by piece. We want to keep things simple. Now let's focus on this exponent part square root of 27 and here I have just copied it down. Let's go ahead and simplify this thing. 27 could be written as 9 times 3 with the square root. Let's break it down this radical with the square root of 9 times square root of 3. Square root of 9 is same as 3 times square root of 3. So that means the square root of 27 could be written as 3 times square root of 3. Now let's focus on this another exponent, square root of 75. And here I have just copied it down. Let's go ahead and simplify it. And 75 square root could be written as 25 times 3. Let's break it down. Square root of 25 times square root of 3. So square root of 25 could be written as 5 times square root of 3. So I can write this square root of 75 as 5 times square root of 3. Now let's focus on this exponent square root of 48. And I have just copied it down over here. Let's go ahead and simplify this one as well. So square root of 48 could be written as 16 times 3. Let's break down this radical square root of 16 times square root of 3. Square root of 16 is same as 4 times square root of 3. So therefore I can write this one as 4 times square root of 3. So therefore this our given problem is going to look like once we substitute these exponent values. So I am going to write it as 2 power 3 times square root of 3 and then times 8 power 5 times square root of 3 and then divided by 4 power 4 times square root of 3 then whole power square root of 3 divided by 5 so far so good now in the next step let's focus on this base 8 and I have just copied it down over here 8 could be written as in terms of exponent 2 power 3 and now let's focus uh, on this one another base at the denominator 4 and I have just copied it down over here 4 could be written as a 2 power 2. Let's go ahead and simplify furthermore this our given expression so we can write it as let's go ahead and write then 2 power 3 times square root of 3 is already there and this part I can write 8 could be written as 2 power 3 so I can write then 2 power 3 and then power 5 square root of this 3 divided by let's focus on this one over here 4 could be written as 2 power 2 I can write 2 and then power 2 and then power 4 times square root of 3 and then everything power the exponent is square root of 3 divided by 5. Now let's go ahead and simplify it furthermore we have to be very careful when we are doing this thing this could be written as once again 2 power 3 times square root of 3 and then times let's focus on this part over here as we can see we have a nested exponent so we are going to use this power rule so we can go ahead and multiply these exponents so this could be written as 2 power 3 times 
5 square root of 3 is going to become 15 times square root of 3. Now let's focus on this denominator part. We are going to use the same power rule. So we can write it as 2 power. Again, we're going to multiply these exponents. So that's going to become 8 times square root of 3. And then this whole power square root of 3 divided by 5. And here's our next step. Well, let's go ahead and simplify this numerator, the top part over here. And here we are going to use this product rule as you can see over here. And we can see as long as these our base, this one, the bases are same. So we can easily add their exponents. So therefore this fraction, the top part could be written as, let's go ahead and write down 2 power. When we add these exponents, we are going to get 18 times square root of 3 and then divided by just leave as it is 2 power 8 times square root of 3 and then whole power square root of 3 divided by 5 and now let's go ahead and simplify this fraction inside this bracket by using this quotient rule and according to this rule, as long as our bases are same, these one, we are going to subtract these exponents. So therefore, this fraction is going to become simply 2 power. When we subtract these one, we are going to get 10 times square root of 3 and then whole power, this one, square root of 3 divided by now finally we are going to use this power rule once again over here we can see that we are going to multiply these two nested exponents and here I have just multiplied them out let's go ahead and simplify this thing 5 goes into 10 twice and when we multiply square root of 3 times square root of 3 is going to give us simply 3 so 2 times 3 is going to give us 6 so that means this could be written as simply 2 power 6 and finally let's go ahead and simplify 2 power 6 could be written as we multiplied 2 6 times so when we multiply 6 times that's going to give us 64 and that is our final answer so thus our answer turns out to be 64 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye